It's road trip day! It is! Well, I'll be colour right now. I'm looking like a mess. No. Uh uh. No. No. Um, I know we literally just got back from a trip like a week ago. But we, we are built different, so it's okay. But we're going again! Um, we're going car camping in Colorado with all Charles' old high school friends. Ew. So, today we make the 11 out, 10 hour drive to Steamboat. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to car camp tomorrow. Then Sunday we're just chilling until we drive three hours to Boulder. Then we're driving back. Ayo. Okay, we are packed. I'm wearing my favorite piece of Lincoln shirt. We're just doing glasses today so I can give my eyes a chance to breathe. Um, I got my matching little paint tattoo I got with Charles last night when we were painting. And Bubs, what's your update? My update is we're just putting my magic cards in here because I'm a nerd and so are my friends. Um, then I just got to put the snackies in there and I I think we can hit the road. What time is it? Are we on time? Um, it is 6.58. Which I hope so because we have a meeting at 7.30. True, yeah. But yeah, so we are vibing and thriving. Heck yeah! little over halfway through mm -hmm. we have about four hours left and we went to a gas station and i bought a sweatshirt because i'm a shopaholic but look how cute it is so i got it in an xxl because first of all they're like tiny you know like it's not so but it's like this fun tie-dye that i feel like is going to be a good vibe but even we're at camping who knows yeah. Um, and then, and then we have a frill milkshake, peanut butter cup flavored, Abby. Abby. <laughs> Charles made the wrong choice twice when I gave him the option, <laughs> so I had to uh, tell him how it is. But we're just getting back on the interstate. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, no less. Well, you'll go right and then left. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna hit the road again. Hello. Let's do a tour. Cool. Not very much. All right. Here we have our miraculous driver's seat, complete with battery te te uh, mm -hmm. battery tester, pressure gauge, lovely steering wheel cover. The general seats. Then we have to go to the other side. Well, the, I'm gonna get the, the flowers. Flowers. On the Here we have the back. It's the back. We have a shower. If you wanna, you know, take <laughs> that. Oh, come on. Doesn't work, wait. Yeah, there's a bug in my face. That works there. Back in there. 
checking out the fuses just in case anything blows. Oh, there's so many mosquitoes that keep flying at Go me. Go away, mosquitoes. I'll take them down. Um, this folds back into the chair. We have frisbee. We'll As, we As we should. So this is where the bed is. Yes. So this front seat you see here, it's going to pop down. I won't show you the full thing until later. Tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little, little what it looks like when it's ready for us to sleep for the night. Mm -hmm. And then... We've got all of our stuff. So That's normally, the chair that pops back. Normally there's tables here mm -hmm. that we can put in. There's one over there. Yeah, and it sets up right here. And then this thing pops up. So this there's whole an bit. extra bed that comes right up there. Yeah. Um, but obviously we're gonna do the big <gasps> the cat. The cat? Yes. I saw him, but I want you to see him. I've never seen his cat before. That's the door. That's, those are the there's deer chill. And the cat's right there. <gasps> okay. So this is what we're dealing with. There's a cat right there. And then there's just two deer chilling in the old horse corral. So as you can tell, it's a fun time. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole mm -hmm. RV camper. We'll show you more when it's all packed. Real quick. He said he forgot the best part. So, so two best parts. First off, heater. This is a thermostat, so you won't be cold tonight. Second off. We have a kitchen. Have propane stove and portable drinking water. Lights up there. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna be solid. Yeah. But yeah. What year is this? Uh, Nineteen. No. Two thousand. Yeah. Two thousand euro van. Please. Oops. It yeah, I wouldn't say. <laughs> okay, we're on the road. I got my hair and my braids now. So that's more camp friendly. We got Lunchables for dinner. Hey and uh, now oh. we're gonna head out. Dinnerables. Whoa! <laughs> um, but we are going to head out and I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog for the day. We'll pick up back tomorrow, but we won't have service and I don't really feel like messing with cameras. So, we might get a clip of, we'll try and remember to get a clip of the like bed down in the in the camper, either tomorrow morning after we have it done or when we first get there. But otherwise, we will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, it yeah. was raining and you know the mud, mud. we were driving in was 
So we just wanted to be good borrowers and wash off at least the bottom part of Phoebe. Yeah. Um, and then we will hit the road. And you're gonna follow us on the next part of this little road trip. It's gonna be a lot of driving in the next two days, but that's okay. Yep. Okay, we're on the road again. Um, oh, can we go? Oh, Use yeah. the left lane to merge onto I-76 East. That's so weird. Okay, well, so here's the deal, yo. We are on the road again. And we have decided that this trip, we're really just diving into Turn the left. junk food aesthetic. Yep. So, yeah, it's right here. Any correctional facility? Hey, oh. I think we like to pass one. It's fun. Okay, so we're gonna give you a little haul so we can start eating. I got smart food popcorn, the white cheddar. I think this is like the most quintessential road food trip for us. And then we have for Charles, Fritos Flavor Twist Honey Barbecue. For 156 miles, Cheryl, continue obviously. straight. Munchies, classic. Then we got Mike and Ice. Water Patch, Water Patch. Water Patch Kids. Water, water Patch, patch Sour Kids. Water Kid Melon. Sour Patch Kids, Watermelon. Sour Melon Kid Patch. And then we have, which is like the most ridiculous, but we have two different kinds of cupcakes. We have the birthday cake and then the normal chocolate ones. I'm very excited. I also have some homemade sparkling water. Oh yeah, we made homemade sparkling water back at the, uh, my family's house. All right, what are we starting with? Um, want to try those cupcake ones? Sure. And then I might, yeah. I'll see how I feel after the cupcake one, and then after that I might get into those honey twists. Okay, salad. Honey BBQ. Okay. Let's wait. These taste exactly like those like zebra cakes. Like the little Debbie, like little like Easter cake things. That's what these taste like. I'm holding the camera because, yeah, I wanted uh, to. <laughs> but we made it home, and so now we are buckling in. Well, I'm buckling in for a very long night of work. Charles is. I home. am giving up because I drove a lot today. Yeah, so. he drove yeah. the whole way, so we appreciate him for that. Um, I should have gotten more done on the road trip, but my laptop started to die, and also, I don't know, it feels kind of, it's one thing when there's multiple people in the car, but it feels kind of rude to just, like, sit in silence and make the other person be bored. It's okay, I'm bored. Um, and then we started listening to podcasts. Oh my gosh. So I listen to a podcast called Time Suck. This is like, can I plug it or no? Sure, go for it. Uh, I, it's great. It's like, I don't always agree with what he says, but like, that's kind of the nice part about it because he's always like, there's both sides and like, we're very kind of open-minded kind of, kind of bit. But there's one that I wrote in once and he wrote, he wrote, Okay. He read it. Thank you. He read my thing, but it's at the end of one of the most horrific. It is an awful episode. It's just awful. It is an hour and 50 minutes, and it's literally an hour and 40 minutes of pure just disgustingness. And then it's like, <sighs> now from our user, Charles. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, uh, because, yeah. And, yeah. It's like informational and. I don't even know what I'm saying. You can cut all of this out if you No, want. it's fine. <laughs> but it just was like, we were sitting there for an hour and 15 minutes, like. Yeah, I was literally, it was so funny. There was like two things that would like make me laugh or like I had to stop myself from laughing at inappropriate times because we play this game called Cows I Win where like if you see a group of cows, you say cows I win and get a point and there's like other stuff. But so we'd just be listening to like, just about the depravity, the lowest of the low of humankind. And then one of us would go, cows, I win. <laughs> and it was just funny to me. And it was just, cause like, I didn't want to, like, it felt wrong to call cows, I win, but also like, I didn't want you to call cows, I win. So it'd be like, 
And then he did this. And, and then it was this. awful and it was disgusting. And, and cows. Like, oh, <laughs> we just stopped saying I win. We just would go cows. Cows. <laughs> and there's another character voice that she says sounds like Gru. And I'm pretty sure my childhood is <laughs> shot. It uh, does. Yeah, it's it like does. making it's like a spinoff of like an it, old. It, like, it's a serial killer from uh, Russia, um, and so he has this voice, and I was like, he kind of sounds like Gru. <laughs> yeah, Chikatilo. If anyone, if we have any fellow time suckers out there, I doubt it, but hey, you never know. And then we watched uh, Wild Till Nine, the lasering her cooch episode. Yep. That was crazy. And then we also listened to the Frenemies Meltdown. Oh, if, yeah. If you're following that drama. I don't really know the drama. I just watched, like, five of the ten minutes and was like... It was so uncomfy. Icky. Yeah. Anyways, we're yeah. back home. Now I'm gonna keep working on DAT stuff. And I'm gonna probably scroll through Reddit and then watch anime. Bye!